Hello, Gemini. Welcome to your June 2022 reading. And right now what I'm getting off the bat is there are huge shifts getting ready to take place for our zodiac sign of Gemini. Somebody's leaving, somebody's moving, something is changing, and it's very, very positive energy. Happy birthday to all of you who celebrate your, your, month, uh, your Gemini baby. We're looking at the sun, moon, and rising sign of Gemini. This is a general reading, so take from the reading what is meant for you. And we're looking at love, career, family, whatever I hear or see will come through this reading and I will translate it by showing you the card. So you guys, this is a big, this is a big moment and <laughs> I hate to do this, but I heard the song, ding dong, the witch did. Okay, so you guys might be watching a little bit too much of The Wizard of Oz, but I think for a lot of you, somebody is leaving that was causing you a lot of grief, that was causing a lot of despair around you personally, not necessarily anyone else around you. Now, for some of you, it has nothing to do with another person. It'll have to do with you. But we're going to start off by looking at you first. Then we're going to look at your career sector. Then we're going to look at family, friends, and events. And then romance at the end. So, you guys, you are starting off with the King of Pentacles. And this is very, very positive. And that's what I mean. This is a positive reading for the sign of Gemini. We have the Three of Pentacles. And we also have the Knight of Swords. So this is going to fly in from out of the blue where you might even be feeling like um, this union, a new movement, a forward movement is going to come in from out of the blue. And for some of you, this is going to be an offer, an opportunity to make that big shift. And it is going to be big. It may come with a big payout for some of you. It depends on who you are and what part of your personal journey that you're going through because we are in different groups. Okay, some are just awoken now some have been in that phase for a long time and some people still don't have any intention of doing any of that kind of inner analyzing work so it just depends on where we're at in our life but one thing's for sure for each and every gemini you do have an opportunity coming in so let's take a look at this a little bit more when we're looking at you this is being in balance in the mind the body and the soul balancing out your finances that opens up a new gateway a new doorway from the universal world where you're saying come on bring it in okay i cleared this off my plate now an opening is there and everything with an opening gets filled up with something whether it's positive or negative and yours is going to be wind up being very very positive and the date that I have, key date for you, is the 27th of June. Now, if you aren't on my website, uh, please subscribe. It's free to my newsletter. I just sent out a new posting about key dates for all zodiac signs. And you may like that very, very much. Whatever this is, this is you getting up at a rapid speed and making this shift. It's going to happen like, bam, like that, out of the blue. And I do feel for some of you, it'll it'll be almost like you're doubting it right as it gets close to that period of time. So as you're sitting there on pins and needles, waiting for something to come through, wondering, is this even going to happen, and trying to look for a backup opportunity, this is going to come through very, very quick. It is... Um, Someone is, is, is leaving a situation allowing you to come in. So let's take a look at your career. Sorry about that. It is very loud here in New York. And we'll see what's going on there. <clears throat> we have the Seven of Pentacles. And this is, you know, on a spiritual level, this is going through the dark night of the soul. And what this really is, is analyzing all of the situation around you when it comes to your career. Are you getting paid enough? And I feel for a lot of you, you probably are reflecting on it going, I just don't feel like I'm getting paid enough for the work that I'm doing with this 10 of wands. If I had a promotion, if I had a different job, it would make your world turn around and be very different. And lo and behold, here is the ace of wands. That's what I'm saying. It is synchronistic where this is what you're doing now as you roll into June and the mid-June, you're analyzing this going, I don't know if this feels right. Somebody may be leaving that company, that organization, and you're getting a promotion. For others, I feel this is a brand new, out of the blue, you didn't expect it, um, job offer that's going to come in. And with it's going to come a form of relocation. Now, it doesn't mean that you're moving from one state all the way across 3,000 miles to another or another country. But I do see three is attached to it. 
So that's three blocks, 30 minutes. That could be three hours from where you live. I feel there for most of you, there is a physical relocation attached to it. Like you're going to move because if it's three hours away, you can't do that every day. I mean, well, more power to you if you can, but I certainly wouldn't have six hours of drive time underneath my belt on top of working every day. So it'd be more feasible to live closer to the area. Because of the payout attached to this career opportunity, because of the finances, the security that comes with it, it will be worth it for you to make that move. So you will know when the opportunity comes in. Now, some of you have been sitting there wondering, is it going to happen? Okay, you've really been wondering and you're starting to get into a lull. If you haven't been working, I feel that's this group of you where you haven't been working and you're wondering, is there any jobs out there? You're tired, you're like, I have put my resume out everywhere and nothing's coming through. Open up yourself and allow yourself to create this little bit of hope. That little bit of hope is going to turn into something big. It's the opening. It's the gateway to allowing this new to come forward. Excuse me. I just took the dogs out. They're four big dogs and I just took them out. And it's beautiful out. The breeze is blowing. But with it came a lot of sneezing and <laughs> spring is in the air. So pardon me for that. This is something that is going to be exciting. It's going to make you feel alive and awoken again and be excited about living life and trying new things. And for some of you, that's absolutely what it is, particularly when it comes to family. Family, friends, and outside events. You've got something really big getting ready to come in where it's going to take the place of feeling lack, okay? Like nobody's around, I don't have friends, I'm isolated. Um, and it's not that you don't have friends, you just haven't necessarily been connecting to them. But there's a something that was missing for you. Now, open your heart, okay, and have the faith because this Queen of Cups, whether it's a male or female, is getting ready to come into your life. For a lot of you, this is a, a relationship between you and um, your parent. For some of you, it's a, cis, a female sibling, a female sibling. <clears throat> now, female can be somebody who carries the feminine energies, but I really feel more it is an actual uh, woman that you're attached to. There's some healing that needs to take place in this relationship where something may have really caused the two of you to, uh, where you were rejected. You weren't seen from the same eyes as everyone else in your family. So your family turned around and said, yeah, no, we, we're, we're just not going to play with you anymore. Or you said that to them. You weren't on the same page. But the, the good news is, is you have the Three of Pentacles behind you. You have the Three of Pentacles behind this energy, meaning that there is a chance for this to actually come back around and create the unit again, but in a healthy form. Now, in this healthy state of mind, open hearts, everybody's filled with love again. Because whatever took place that you had to go through, a deep, deep healing for some of you. It was a deep, deep healing. You may have lost somebody very close to you. Um, that healing makes us withdraw. And because we withdraw, we feel like everybody else around us is withdrawn too. And that's not necessarily wrong because they feel your energy vibration. But Gemini, this month I feel that you or them actually both are going to be opening up and saying, let's heal this situation, okay? Whether you plan to be together in the future or not, there's a, a healing, a moment of big release and growth going to take place with a family member, all right? Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces take, has a lot to do with this. Virgo, Taurus, and Capricorn may as well. Now, we're going to look at love, romantic love, 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 love for couples. And then we're going to look at singles. And when it comes to you guys, this message isn't going to change too, too much. But it does have a lot of differences in it. So if you like my style that I'm using right now, let me know. I've changed it up for you guys to see if it's a little bit more user-friendly. Thumbs up if you say, yay, you like the style, whether it's your reading or not, you like the way that I'm doing it. Make sure you check out my new blogs, Key Dates, Celestial Backup is here, and uh, check that out online. Now, you have the card to give this relationship a chance and another zodiac sign just had this in the same alignment in the relationship sector 
When it comes to you and a person that you are in a couple with, I feel the two of you have really been um, at odds. Okay, you've really been at odds. One person isn't doing anything. You're carrying the weight of the other person. And it has been really a struggle for the one who's carrying the load. I don't want to do it. I can't do it. And it's putting the other one has been in like a funk. Okay, like the other person has been probably even in a daisy, hazy kind of a stance where they probably weren't doing anything. If you ask them to take trash out, they'd be like, what? You know what I mean? Like they're kind of lost. They feel lost. This could be a situation of lost identity, but whatever it is that created the discord between the two of you is getting ready to make a shift. Remember the energy is shifting and it's shifting in Gemini's favor. That means that it's going to come into whatever it is that you want. So if this is a relationship where you do love and you do have love and it's saying give the relationship a chance because it's a really great team unit. Because the passion has died off doesn't mean that the relationship is ended. It means that new needs to come into the relationship. And that may be why they were in one place and you were in another. By the 27th of the month, you guys should be back on a better page of communication. It's going to happen out of the blue where one day you're cooking, they walk in and, and they start cooking and the two of you start cooking together, laughing and giggling and all of a sudden everything changes complete course of direction it's going to happen like that now for those of you who are single i feel you're getting ready to meet somebody new and the message is very very similar to another zodiac sign that i feel was capricorn um where you may have been feeling like there is no love there is i give up on love and it doesn't matter what age you are love is love I feel you're getting ready to meet somebody that's going to help you see something that you never saw in a relationship. You may have been an overgiver and you may have even been in old relationships where you lost your own identity, maybe molding to be what that person wants to be, or those are the type of people that you've been attached to. And that doesn't work when one doesn't, you know, that just doesn't work because we have to be our authentic self. With this Queen of Cups, they're saying that you're going to meet somebody that is open to love. They're open to be um, able to give you the same amount that you give them. And the Three of Pentacles is saying it is going to be a beautiful union between you and another person. So as you finish your healing, and I feel this person is going to be there while you finish growing or they finish growing, but one of you had to heal over some past trauma, some past drama, and this is the final phase. So it's like, you know, those of you who have been through the journey, I don't feel it's a reconciliation at all. I feel this is somebody brand, brand new. But those of you who have been through the journey, you know, you go in the grieving stages, you go through different stages of this awakening journey, self-reflection journey. And when we're at that one point where we're feeling more confident and we're able to get out there, we can actually be in the moment with that person. We can hear everything they say. We know if they're talking to us or if they're talking to their ex. <laughs> it's like we can identify everything about the other person in front of us. See all their insecurities and secure levels of confidence as well. This one's coming in with confidence, okay, because they're at that point. One of the two of you are a little bit further than the other, but you guys are almost, you're just like this. So it's leading each other through the end. And with this is an opportunity for a beautiful romantic relationship. Have a great June. Thank you for watching. Much love.